your peepers on this. A box of Cap'n Fizzy's fuzzy orange cereal circles? Not just any box of Cap'n Fizzy's fuzzy orange cereal circles. Ta-da! With a picture of you on the front. And they got my good side. But why would Captain Fizzy's fuzzy... Why don't we just call them CFFOCCs to save time? Why would CFF... OCCs... Put you on the box? Only because I just happened to set a record for sucking lemons through a straw. That's it? It's harder than it sounds. <laughs> it's part of their latest promotion. You've all got your faces on boxes of CFFOCCs? We all accomplished something unnecessary. <laughs> just like dog thing do every day. So beautiful. Here comes the airplane. Chugga, 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 chugga. Why is Captain Fizzy doing all this? Well, you know Captain Fizzy's big book of unnecessary accomplishments? Otherwise known as the CFBBUA? Naturally. To promote the latest edition, they're putting the newest accomplishers of unnecessary stuff on cereal boxes. Cool. I jumped rope for five consecutive turns. That doesn't sound very hard. I didn't use a skipping rope. Ow. Worth it. <laughs> I invented a new form of stage diving. Instead of me jumping on the crowd, twiddle it, twiddle it, twiddle it, twiddle it. <laughs> I really should have thought this through. I don't recommend it. Piggy used ninja skill to get new hat. <laughs> <Ooh. Yeah. laughs> hey! Wow! And what did Duck do to get his? Looks like rain. I want my face on a cereal box, too. Then you'll just have to accomplish something completely unnecessary. Ooh, maybe I can lick my own eyes. <gasps> oh, that's what my tongue looks like? This thing lives in my mouth? <sighs> Practice makes perfect. Don't worry, Octomo Pal. You can accomplish anything. Wait, what are you trying to accomplish? Well, I looked through the big book and wrote down anything unnecessarily accomplished by an octopus. And? There weren't any. But that's octopuses for you. We're not a frivolous bunch. So? I'm going to go the longest a land-based octopus has ever gone without talking. Sounds easy. I'll be okay as long as I don't get nervous. I get a little chatty when I'm nervous. Uh, like now, why am I suddenly nervous? Oh, maybe because there'll be all these animals watching. Oh, right. Uh, and the judge is none other than Captain Fizzy himself. What? <gasps> no talking, no talking, no talking. <laughs> Wait, here he comes. The real, the actual. I can't believe it, Captain Fizzy. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Avast me, fizzy fans! Let's get this boat afloat, mateys! Ah. Here's how she'll sail. The moment the octo contestant utters a single word, the time will be considered official. Ye be ready? Ready! The mates attempt to set a new unnecessary accomplishment. Be starting now! I can do this. I can. So, uh, that be your best then. Sorry, I was just getting warmed up. I'm really ready now. The second attempt to set an unnecessary accomplishment be starting now. Banana Cabana, this is Octo speaking. Just wanted to say you're doing great, buddy. Howie. Sorry, bad timing. So, two seconds be your record then? Did I do it? Did I win? The accomplisher of this unnecessary accomplishment is... Yes? That quiet feller on the starboard side! Huh? Me? For sure, matey. You haven't said a word since I pulled ashore. That should have been me. Don't worry. You can just try to do something equally unnecessary. Like what? Uh... No, it's R. Higher up here in the throat, you see. R. <coughs> Anyone got a lozenge? This pirate voice is a grind on the glottis. There's gotta be one of these unnecessary accomplishments you can do. Most knots tied in a tail. I don't even have a tail. Most nose hairs plucked with a fork. Blah. I hope they wash that fork afterward. Most sticky notes stuck to one's forehead. I have a giant forehead! But I don't have any sticky notes. Oh, 
never find an unnecessary accomplishment I can do. Wait, here's a good one. It was done by a squid. They're kind of like octopuses, aren't they? Or not? <laughs> hey, I've got tentacles. And I've got a mouth. I'm sure I could do that one. Sure you can. You can do anything some silly squid can do. Let's go. No offense. <gasps> oh, what? Way to go, buddy. Wow, so much talent. I'm being sarcastic. He has no talent. Oh, what? Oh, 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 that be mighty impressive. Really? There you go, matey. Being hit in the head by the most tentacles. Really? Me? Another award? But you know, this clobbered whale didn't do this all alone. There are a few special folks I'd like to thank. No? What? Wrap it up. Already? Yet another attempt by the mighty stubborn cephalopod to be wearing the most pairs of undies while bending over to pick up a penny with just his tongue. Do you be ready? Ready! Alrighty! Go! Uh, uh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Impressive! Most pairs of splitting underpants dodged by a dog. Oh, yes! I mean, you know, whatevs. Woot, woot. Longest time sitting with a sickly shrimp on your noggin. <laughs> oh, anybody got a hanky I can borrow? Ready, set, go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Now that's impressive. Most ever sneezes in a row by a shrimp. Really? Thanks. But don't be touching me. Now I have another cereal box to be a warden. Oh, oh please, oh, please. Getting drenched by the most nose goo. What nose goo? I guess I'll never ever get my face on a box. You can't quit now. I have an idea for something awesomely unnecessary you can accomplish for sure. Pardon me. May I borrow a tissue? Hmm. This goo tastes like shrimp. This is it, Octo. You can do this. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You have to show Captain Fizzy you can accomplish unnecessary stuff just like everyone else. And you think the answer is having a staring contest with a rutabaga? What's a rutabaga? A tasty little root vegetable. Great for soups. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> All righty, me lad. This really is your last chance at her. I got a mall opening to get to. Already, set, go. I can't take it anymore. It is just my pupils. <laughs> Did I finally accomplish something? Of course you didn't, you fluffy limb rubber skull. The Rutabaga wins! Oh. Sorry, Octo Buddy. You did your best, bud. That Rutabaga was one tough contestant. And we'll make one tough soup. I can't believe I tried to accomplish 147 unnecessary things today, and I didn't even get one. Did ye say 147? Yeah. No one has ever attempted that many unnecessary accomplishments in a single day and messed up each and every one. Great. Bucko, that be the new record. <laughs> Octo, you're the best loser ever. Octo! This is the greatest day of my life! My face is going to be on a cereal box! Actually, no, matey, it's not. It's not? But he has an unnecessary accomplishment! That he does. An accomplishment that's worthy of... Getting your picture on our new Captain Fizzy's Fuzzy Frozen Freezer Feast! Ah. Oh, boy! Captain Fizzy's Fuzzy Frozen Freezer Feast! Are they as delicious as Captain Fizzy's Fuzzy Orange Cereal Circles? I'm sure they are. They're not. Wow! This is the best bag of frozen spinach and turnip blobs I've ever had! Don't you guys think so, too? Mm. Mm. 
Mmm, yeah, the best. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ew, these taste like rotten lint. Yes, just like Mom used to make. Let's have some more. Hooray! Yuck! I mean, yum. <laughs> Did I mention I'm gonna be sick? A good picnic. Yup, so delicious and safe. Mm. Perfect. Hey, Otto, how about after lunch we go speed boating? Right after lunch? It could lead to cramping. All right. How about a nice safe game of checkers? What? It could. We could. All right, I can't think of anything scary about that, but I'm sure there's something. Otto, buddy, don't you ever get tired of being afraid of everything? Well, I guess sometimes I wonder what it would be like not to be afraid all the time. But for now, I'm happy to sit here quietly and safely. <laughs> Unless the grass is too scratchy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling my agent. Hello? I've got the next new blockbuster movie. I was near someone who almost got hit by a giant banana. The Narwhal Story, starring Narwhal. Who cares about your story? What about Octo? We'll let him try out for a bit, Bart. I... Uh... Uh... Come on, buddy. I'm not coming out. It's not safe. It was an accident. Accident. That almost made me part of a giant banana split! Sure, but it's not like it's gonna happen again. Oh, I guess you're right. It's not like the banana's out to get me or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, freaky, but just a weird coincidence. There's no way that could ever happen again. <laughs> or I could be wrong. Doc! Uh -huh. What are you doing? <laughs> What signal? I was sending jokes by wingmail to my Uncle Bernie. What? <laughs> Good one! Just fix the banana! <laughs> Good one! <laughs> Other than that large piece of construction equipment being operated by someone with, like, zero training, it all looks perfectly safe. You sure? Octo, I promise you, the banana is not out to get you. Oopsie! Wait a minute. I didn't get clobbered. Again! Do you know what this means? Our banana has really bad aim. Do? It means I don't need to be afraid of the yeller. And if I don't need to be afraid of a huge banana regularly falling out of the sky, what else don't I need to be afraid of? A giant pineapple? Good one, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Wow, this is a list of all the things you're scared of? Nope, that's a list of some of the things I'm scared of. Well, let's see what you got here. Drinking ketchup through a straw. Okay, I'm gonna try it. is ketchupy ketchup. But I did it, and it didn't go down the wrong way, or up my nose, or have a seed in it that eventually sprouts a tomato plant in my belly. We'll just have to wait a few weeks on that last one. That's four fears off my list already. Great job, my commendably courageous compadre. Now, we only have to get through the next 4,070 hundred items on your list. Howie, you can take that list, soak it in acid, roll it through a field of prickly cactuses, and throw it in a live volcano. Isn't that kind of dangerous? Probably, but who cares? <laughs> you sure you want your first stunt to be Great Grandma's Great Drop of Terror? It doesn't seem so terrorish. You have your yarn? Check. Dangers? Check. Rocking chair? Check. 
So this is how you do Great Grandma's Great Drop of Terror. Just watch me. Geronimo! See how it's done. I'll save you, buddy! Yeah! It's my new beach blanket. Took me months to knit. It's gorgeous, but is it supposed to be doing that? Dog thing switch tiny brains? No, that's Octo. He's totally fearless now. <coughs> <coughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Howie has extra legs today. This is so cool! Piggy just going to step over here. What's that, Piggy? <laughs> Howie? Oh, I'm getting pretty good at this stunty stuff. Otto, don't you think you should maybe slow down just a bit? I mean, all this being dangerous stuff is insane. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Maybe you're right. You know, I don't think I've ever been on this roller coaster before. No one has. It's not even finished. Cool. Wait, what? <laughs> Without engines. Huh? Through a mountain range. Come again? Blindfolded. <laughs> what? Look out! <laughs> Why did I wait so long to do that, huh? I know! And it's just gonna keep getting dangerouser and dangerouser! Oh, Howie, say something! What's happened to you? Speak to me! Hold on, I can fix this. There! All better. Not helping! But you know, the blue really brings out his eyes. Oh, come back to us, Howie! We gotta snap him out of it! Maybe this will work. Who's a little stunter? Who likes to play with his boomy rockets? It's not working. Maybe Octo will know what to do. Octo? Uh, nah, he's too busy being all weird and dangerous. Dangerous? He said he'd be outside testing some very experimental jetpack. Very experimental jetpack? That's too dangerous. I've got to stop him. You know, blue really brings out my eyes. Um, should we be standing this close to it right now? Okay, Octo. We're ready anytime you are. Octo, buddy, don't do this. I know you've been all fearless and everything. That's me. But there are some things you should be afraid of. Like, and this is just off the top of my head here, very experimental yet awesome jetpacks. It's okay, Howie. As you may have noticed, I'm kind of indestructible. Actually, you've mostly just been kind of lucky. Well, let's hope my luck holds out. Okay, here I go. Up, up, and beyond! That's not exactly up. Oh, that's much better. Oh, well, I'm glad that's over with. It's an honor to introduce today's very special ribbon cutter. Here he is. Me! Speech! Speech! Oh no, well, I love you! Him? Okay, fine. Big Yeller is back where she belongs, baby. Whoa. 
Uh, I'm still getting paid, right? <laughs> Once for yes, twice for no. Oh. He's okay! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, that hurt! A lot! Why was I doing such a hurty thing? Uh, because you're kind of irrationally fearless now? Yeah, look where it got me. Well, at least there's still this one little spot in your head that doesn't look too bruisey. Never mind. Oh, you were right, Howie. Yeah, I really was. I should have listened to you. I know. I just wanted to know what it was like to not be afraid of everything all the time. And now, I do know. Ow! It's very, very painful. 